Hello everyone. This is Bball 13 SM and here is I believe your third Roblox scripting tutorial. In the previous lesson, we made this script. Okay? Well, all we've been doing in the past few times is when something is touched, change the other. This time we're not even gonna have anything to touch. It's just gonna happen. And here's how we're gonna do this. A while true do statement. While true do is a loop form of a function. And basically what it does is it always keeps going unless for you could put an example like for a while one equal one plus one equals two do okay you could do that but we're just gonna do actually no we'll keep it there so that you can see it but keep in mind you can always do while true do it's a little simpler so while one plus one equals two do be one dot brick color equals brick color dot new right orange and then b two dot brick color equals brick color dot new deep blue if you remember these are the two colors we worked with last time but we're going to put a quick wait before that happens. You need a wait in every form of loop. For loops, while loops, anything that is a loop. We'll get on, we'll, I'll teach you more loops as time goes on. But for now, we're just working with this, but you always need a wait or else your game will break. So we're going to put a wait of one second. And I'm going to put another second and do b one dot brick color equals brick color dot new deep blue b2 dot brick color equals brick color dot new bright orange wait one then we'll return them to their original colors which we'll go and look at brick one has a color of medium stone gray if you remember I didn't so that's why I had to go back. Brick color dot new. Medium stone gray. Keep in mind, for colors, the first letter is usually the only one that's capitalized. Okay? And it is case sensitive as far as I know. So. Brick color dot new. And I believe this was already bright red, right? Yep. Bright red. Then we have to put our end. Okay? Always remember, you have to have enough ends to correspond with your ifs and the function names and all, and your loops and everything else. Okay? Now, let's see how this works. Tools, test. Play so, and there we go. My character is loaded. Now let's find those bricks. And our script is either not loaded yet or not working. Oh, that would explain why. Now, I didn't intend for this error, but I'll play off of it. I taught you guys about the output, but I never really showed you how to use it. You scroll through and find your script if it's not working, and look for red. Okay? There's other ways you can debug your script, but this is your best friend for debugging. Go in, go back to our script, and now, you'll see, it says the line that's wrong. Oh! Here's what our problem was. We need two equal signs. I'm glad I did this. Now I can teach you guys a little something. 
as I've told you, one equal sign is do this, make it equal to operator, right? Well, two equal signs means is equal to. It's asking, is this correct or is it not correct, okay? There's several other operators, which I'll show you now. Possibly not all, but I also don't know if I know all. So I'll just make them all real fast. Okay. So this is greater than or greater than or equal to. You also can have just a greater than. Or less than and equal to. Again, you can have just a less than sign. Is equal to. We use that here. Or does not equal. This little squiggly line means does not, is not, not. Okay? We could also put while 2 plus, while not, but we're not going to do that because that's a little confusing. Alright, so now let's go back for my stuff. There, my script, it works. See that? See that? Yeah, it works. What you got? You got a working script. That's what you got. Okay, well, let's just have a nice little picture of me with zombies. See you later, guys.